if we have leaves closing the lime, if we have leaves closing the fruit, what's going to happen? Who can tell me? Thầy hỏi là thí dụ như mọi người thấy cái trái như vậy mà cái lá nó bao quanh như vậy thì mọi người làm sao? Cắt lá bỏ. Delete, delete, delete. Delete it. No, no. But what I'm saying is, if we don't delete. If I, if I leave, không, không if I have a lot of leaves growing like this, what the, is going to happen to the, the green fruit? color will be affected. Yellow, yellow. The color is going to be affected exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yellow part. And what color do we want? Green. Re yellow. Green. Do we want yellow fruit? Yellow fruit. Lime must be green. Ah, exactly. Green. Lime must be green. So what we want to do is, <laughs> where possible, we want to de leaf eh? so that we can have the fruit hanging and it's getting sun from all sides but be careful how we do it that we don't damage the stem because the stem needs to feed the fruit yeah okay sometimes if you have many bunches this this these two fruits over here are relatively apart so if you have a lot of bunches five fruit hanging in a bunch all closed you might when the fruit is small <laughs> thin some of the fruit out okay? because a lot of fruit hanging next to each other is going to create the same problem as leaves touching the fruit it's going to make yellow patches so what we want to try and do is we want to try and produce fruit that is green yeah okay um so even this even this bunch over here if you see here we've got two we've got we've got three three fruit one two three there just let me let me show you this now because this has been closed this has had a lot of leaves on this bunch okay what do we find here we find that some of the fruit I, I, I must do it carefully I don't want to break the fruit off can you see there the yellow pot spot can you see there what what, what we've got yellow, yellow. Patches. we've got and these are quite small fruit but we've already got Half of the fruit is yellow, and there's some spots as well. So what we want to try and do is we want to try and remove some of the leaves that are around here to give this fruit an opportunity to get some sunlight. Okay, and by removing the leaves, <coughs> automatically we will find that some of the fruit is starting to get. Uh, is opening up. Huh? Mm. What we might also want to do on occasions is if we've got too much fruit is to take off one, one fruit. I'm not wanting to advocate removing the fruit but you can see this fruit over here now where it had a lot of yellow on it because it was closed with leaves suddenly now is going to get sun and these, this yellow is going to disappear. This fruit as well, you see this fruit has got a lot of leaves around it. So if we remove some of these leaves, it's going to be on its own. And it has a lot of light and it's going to be a green fruit. Yeah. What I also see here is I see some mealybug. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I okay. see some mealybug. So if I leave the, and there's, there's you can see the, the mealybug. You can see the mealybug on the on the leaves. Huh? Mm. You see the, the mealybug there. This leaf is also deformed. Because I had some fruit, a lot of leaves around the fruit, this is ideal place for mealybug. And the, the mealybug can very easily go into the fruit. You see there? You see? So this if we open up the fruit by removing some of the leaves, the mealybug likes to hide. So if we have some fruit with a lot of leaves around it, this is perfect place for the mealybug to hide. And what does the mealybug do? It goes under the calyx of the fruit. So that's exactly what you've got there. À, em 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 tóm lại phần này là thầy nói á, đối với những cái trái á, mà khi mà có lá nó nó bao mà nó úp bên ngoài vậy đó thì mình phải lặt bớt lá để cho trái nó có đủ ánh nắng thì nó mới xanh được còn không thôi là nó sẽ bị vàng à, thêm một cái nữa là thí dụ như có nhiều trái nhiều trái tạo thành một chùm thì mình nên lặt bỏ bớt những trái nhỏ để cho trái lớn nó có đủ ánh sáng 
để nó xanh à, với lại à, việc lặt lá này nó có thêm một tác dụng nữa là mình loại bỏ những cái chỗ trú ẩn cho côn trùng gây hại tại vì nếu mà mình để nó nhiều quá thì những cái con côn trùng này nó có chỗ trú thì nó ở trong đó rồi khi mà mình hái trái đó, nó nhiều khi là nó là cái ổ cho những cái con nấm mốc á nó sẽ đi theo cái đường mà mình lúc mà mình hái trái nó nó, nó ở trên cái cuốn á thì lúc đó nó sẽ gây hư trái ok ok um, so looking at these trees as I said quite a lot of work has already been done here the trees are nice and open but there is still some work to be done in terms of deleafing huh? So here and there to remove one or two leaves just to, to make the fruit open must be done. This is a practice that needs to be done all the time to give, to give you isolated fruit which is not covered by leaves. This fruit is going to give you a green color. And as we saw here, as we saw there, where, where's, where's a stick or a, this over here, let me do this one, I just want to point. As you can see there, this fruit was covered with leaves and that fruit had a yellow patch, half the fruit yellow and a yellow patch. So by removing those leaves now, that is a very young fruit. That fruit has still got quite a few months to go to grow before we're going to harvest it. By the time we come and harvest that fruit, it's going to be green because we've opened it up We've subjected it to the light. Yeah. Okay. Thì uh, giống như mọi người thấy uh, cái trái này á là thầy đã bắt đầu lặt lá ra và thầy đã bỏ bớt một trái ở đó thì nó có hơi vàng thiệt nhưng mà thầy nói là đảm bảo đến khi mà thu hái á nó sẽ xanh trở lại okay. tại vì nó sẽ đủ ánh nắng. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to teach you to understand the tree. We've got to talk to the trees, but unfortunately the tree cannot speak back to us. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to understand the language of the tree, okay? But the tree will never talk to us. And sometimes the tree can be stubborn, like people can be stubborn or children can be stubborn. Maybe the tree will not do what we want it to do. So we've got to force the tree to do what we want it to do. And that is to produce green fruit. À, thầy nói uh, vui á, là cái cây nó giống như đứa trẻ vậy đó. Mình phải giáo dục nó, mình phải làm sao để cho nó đi theo ý của mình, để tạo ra trái xanh. Những cái cây nó có bị cháy nắng không nha? Nếu nắng thì không để mình mình lạc mình tổn thương đến cái thân để chắc chắn nó bị bóng tại không đủ nhiều thân lỡ đấy bằng chân cái as much light as possible thầy nói cái việc này cần phải được làm thường xuyên và hồi nãy em quên một cái chỗ là khi mà lạc á mình hạn chế lạc để đừng có làm suốt cái thân Tại vì nếu mà làm xuất thân thì vi khuẩn nó sẽ vào đường đó, nó sẽ ảnh hưởng đến trái nha Thầy nói việc này phải làm thường thì trái nó mới xanh được uh, They have questions, uh, can I ask? Ok uh, They also, how long to, for the fruit like that, it it's turn to be green? It will probably take a few months, but the, the fruit from the flower to the harvest It depends on how much rain, it depends on the climate, but normally with citrus it takes about six months from flower to harvest. Mm -hmm. But because with limes we've got all sizes of fruit, we've got flower, we've got small fruit, we've got bigger fruit, we've got bigger fruit, we've got bigger fruit. This is what I said yesterday. It's important for us to understand, pick the right fruit at the right time. Okay? Vẫn là câu nói, à, hái trái à, đúng vào thời điểm đúng. Tới lúc nó xanh thì hái. Tới lúc nó xanh thì hái. Okay? Come on, Matt. What's he saying? <laughs> must be ready to, to be green. Must be green. Must be green. Pick the right fruit at the right time. But guys, this is where... Sorry, just let me say this quickly. This is where the agronomists, the people that were at the training yesterday, this is where you guys and ladies need to help the farmers yes okay farmers are farmer some of them might be more scientific than others but a farmer's a farmer so he's looking at maximum production maximum pack out 
Okay? Th that's what the farmer wants. Mm. You guys as agronomists have got to help them to be able to achieve their goal, but to produce green fruit. Mm. Okay? And that's where you need to help them now is to, when we say pick the right fruit at the right time, I think yesterday it might be eight words, but it's, it's more difficult than those eight words. Yes. Because if I pick a fruit that is completely immature, it's obviously, let's say, this little fruit here or some of these fruit, it's useless. The people in the packing house will throw it out. If I leave <coughs> the fruit on the tree too long, the fruit is going to be predisposed to coloring, okay, which will also be culled in the pack house. So we need to pick the right fruit at the right time. À, vẫn à, là câu nói đó nhưng mà thầy muốn nói muốn nhắn nhủ á, là với thầy những kỹ sư những những người mà đã học qua cái lớp của thầy á là nhiệm vụ của mình là phải uh, truyền đạt lại cho nông dân làm sao để tăng được năng suất cho nông dân nhưng mà đảm bảo trái xanh và đúng kích cỡ về nhà máy chứ nếu trái xanh mà không đúng kích cỡ về nhà máy cũng không được mà trái vàng mà đúng kích cỡ về nhà máy cũng không được Uh, they have a question. Yeah. If we uh, believe a lot uh, outside of the fruit, yeah. it can turn to be yellow? No. Sunburn. 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 Yeah, the thing is that limes, depending on what it started off as being. So if it's if it started off with not many leaves around it, then it can get sunburn. Eh? But if it's most of the fruit that I see here, like this fruit here, If I remove that leaf, it's not going to suddenly get sunburned because that fruit is already exposed. Mm. Depending on how much pruning you've done to start off with. If I look here, a lot of the trees are very well pruned. They are already very open. The farmer has done a good job already. Mm. So the fruit that's on the tree, most unlikely that that fruit is going to get sunburned mm. because the tree is already open. Different when we go to a tree that has never been pruned. The tree is 10 years old, 15 years old. We have never pruned the tree. Then we've got to be very careful. As I said yesterday, we cannot have the tree perfect in one day. So we need to then think about sunburn. And what you can't do is you can't put paint on the fruit. Okay? Yes. Uh -huh. you, can't, put, you can't put paint on the fruit. So this is what I said. Pruning is work in progress. So, depending on how much work you've done before, that will determine how much work you still need to do. Here, the farmer's done a very good job to start off with. So, there's not very much work to be done. What I want to do is, you see these branches there? Those branches at the back are making the tree a bit too tall. So, I want to cut some of those branches down to keep the tree flat. Look on the inside of the tree. If there's some regrowth like this, Top it. If there's growth in the center, cut it out 